Okay, so this is a video guide for how to use the tier 3 extreme bot, which is just released on foot trading. So if you have the website sub roll, again, you can get this from going to foot trading, then go to account, and then uh, connect with Discord, okay? So if you're a tier 3 subscriber, that's how you get the Discord rolls, okay? Once you have the website sub roll for uh, tier 3, that's when you'll be able to see the channels for tier 3 extreme bot, okay? So the first thing you do is go to tier 3 instructions, because as the time when you look at this, There'll be a video of how to mute the channels in case you're going to sleep and you don't want to keep getting pings. There'll be a personal profit bot tracker so you can basically track all the trades you make with the bot when you get notifications. There will also be a uh, notification roll so you can basically turn on and off the notification roll. This is a little bit different to this because one of the pings this year actually tags a roll so you can be alerted in case you're not looking. I'll explain that a little bit more in the, in the future. But basically, there'll be that and uh, these two here as well, okay? Alongside the video guide that you're watching right now. So that, again, you'll come to this area. And firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what the difference is between the blue, the pink, and the gold pings, which you can't see right now because they're quite rare, okay? But there's three different color pings this year. Again, the only difference between one of them is the blue ping on, play on, oh, the blue ping on PlayStation is in orange on PC, okay? So you can see here it's in orange, okay? These represent the same thing, okay? So these will tell you they've changed a large amount in value. Check them out, okay? And that means that the previous price to the current price, the card has undercut by a large enough amount for it to send a notification via this channel, okay? So you can see the same thing on PC. Haji has changed a large amount in value. Check them out. So you can see it was previously 190 and now it's 170, okay? Again, I'll go into further detail of how you can work out what's good and what's not, okay? Secondly, the pink pings here. These are referencing to the uh, price trend now, which is a brand new feature, which I'll explain further in a minute. But the pink pings are basically, if they're 10.5% or more down from yesterday's price, which is the price trend, then they'll alert you here because you might be able to get a fluctuation trade with these. Typically, the ones that are going to be faster sales will be the blue pings or the gold pings, okay? On PC, that'll be the orange or the gold, okay? And now talking about the gold that you can't see here and you're probably wondering what that is this year. Essentially, if I go and type in this because I'm going to just find an example. These have different settings between console and PC. But you can see right here, these ones are in gold and that is notifying a roll which you'll be able to obtain via the tier 3 instructions, okay? And on console, these will notify you, like they'll tag you if the price has changed more than 15% and is obviously below 0%, meaning they're very likely to be good snipes, okay? These are where you can find some amazing undercuts. If you've used the bot before, you know the types of things this can show. And here's an example of that, okay? So at 3.46 a.m., it pinged the Katuso for 85k and the previous price was 164. You can see he was down 50% and that was actually a snipe because the player is actually worth 165k, all right? So these are why these rolls and these gold pins can be very beneficial this year. The only difference here is it's 15% right now on console and on PC it's 20, okay? These numbers here will change across the year as we just fine tune things, okay? So it might not always be 15% nor might it be 20%. Uh, 20%. You can see here on PC, as we were making this video 20 minutes ago, it pinged the Tamorian form for 40,000 coins, okay? Again, you're not guaranteed to get them because they're pinging here. But obviously, if you have an alert, we have seen in previous situations where people have managed to get a deal that has been basically not, not been bought off the market. Normally, they insta-sell, but at certain times, they don't. And people have caught people like Ronaldo in form for a million when he was 2.2. This was about a year and a half ago. But there's been many situations where there's been 100k undercuts, and this new gold ping will make it even better to find them in case you're not looking, okay? So that's what this gold ping does this year. Now, to work out what a good deal is, we're just going to use it in real time, okay? So these came in at 5.52, and it tells you to wait six minutes. So we're going to wait for the next one, okay? This can take between five to seven minutes. It just tells you to wait six. So just wait for the next set of pings, and then basically once they start coming through, we can look at them in real time, okay? Again, it will send to console first, and then it will go to PC afterwards, okay? So you can see like all the console ones will come through first any minute now. Just scrolling down this one to get it set up again. So we'll just sit on this and wait for them to start running again. Should be any second now because it's been six minutes. 
Again, you can allow an extra minute because sometimes there's a lot of webhooks, but there's a fair few webhooks, so that could be causing a little bit of a delay with like 30 seconds, but you can see they're coming through now, okay? So you basically, it sent a few pings here, and you can see that a blue one came through and a few pink ones, okay? So you can see with this Solskjaer, for example, he was previously priced at 42 on the last one, and now he's 39k, right? So what you can do is click here to go to the player era, Again, the same rules here apply on PC. And you can check the sold prices of the card in the past few hours. Again, if you trust it, you can check further. But you can see the card sells for 42 43 There was a 43 sell there, and that was only half an hour ago. There was another 42 there, 45 So you know the card sells for about 42 to 43 k right? So all you could go and do is go on to FIFA and check if that skull star was there for 40, uh, 39k. And if it's making you enough money, then you can obviously buy it and then list it straight back on the market for 42. You can see he's already sold, okay? But there's one for 39,750. You could sit like this and try and wait for another undercut to pop up. Or you can just go check more pings, okay? Entirely up to you between the two. Now with the pink ones, what you can go and do is basically find one that you think might, um, looks relatively decent. And the way to do that will be just to judge by the price trend. Which is obviously the greater that is, the more the cards down from yesterday. So you can see a player like Fernando Morientes, maybe. So you can look at this card here, or Rickon. But basically, you can see he's down 12.5% from yesterday at 130. So that means he's down. He's normally about 148. You can see, right? So you can go check when was he last 148, and you can see he hasn't been 148 since earlier today. At about 10 o'clock roughly, it was 145, okay? And you can see on the sold prices, it's been about 140. So this card's a bit, the market's crashing right now, so a lot of pink pings will be coming through. However, like, you will see a lot of good deals for the pinks when it's stable, okay? Hopefully that makes sense, but I'll try to find an example where we can actually find a potential deal with that one. It's relatively decent, like with the pink ones, I'd recommend using them for icons more because icons are like higher priced cards, not really the cheaper tier cards or the heroes. Also bear in mind Dembele's impacts right now, so that card will be below the yesterday average whilst he drops, but the recost is a good example on PC, okay? So you can see it was one, two, three, and the current price is still going down from the previous, and he's down 25% right now, okay? So at one, two, three, you can see he was there, I can go check where does he fluctuate to. Again, you can check anywhere from one like three to four hours up to twelve to twenty-four hours in the fluctuation. But you can see he's really down right now since earlier today, okay? So this card at one, two, three, and then aiming to sell for like 140, 145 is what you'd be looking at there because he's down 20%, okay? You go to the sold prices. And you can see it was a 108, so you could try and win it even cheaper, but he sells for 150. 147, 145, 150. So, like, if this is me, I would pick this card up right now for one, two, three, or less. You could try to pick a couple of them up, and then I would list them more towards 145, 146, 147, etc. Right? It's as simple as that for the pink, uh, pink things. Okay. When the gold ones come through, they're more or less 95% guaranteed to be a like, an instant sniper. Okay, so you go for them ones immediately. But make sure you do the checks with the sold prices to work out what you're going to sell the card for. If the card sells for a decent price that will make you money from the current price, then you can buy the price, okay? So again, another example of this would be, we'll just look for one through here. Just off previous, basically. So you can see with this one here, he was 25k. He went down to 21.5k. So I can go check how many times has he sell at 25 recently. He'll probably be back at 25 already. Now he's still down right now. Sold prices, and you can see there's a load of 25s, okay? 24,250, 24,750, 25. So this card will definitely sell for 25k right now, okay? So you could go onto FIFA. This ping was from about 15 minutes ago, so you want to watch it in real time, basically. Type in Delafu. Check if the card's there for the current price it said, 21750 He's now sold, okay? So you could sit and try and snipe another one or check bids as well. Or just wait for the next batch of pings and see if you can get them. Because if you're looking in real time, 
you're more likely to obviously get the deal, okay? But that's pretty much how the Extreme Bot works. Hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, just put them inside sub chat and people can help you and clarify anything I might not have covered, okay?